That was really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the googlies touch me! Oh man, those are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it? could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? <sighs> you make a compelling point, Lucas. My hand is still trapped in this freaky gauntlet. <sighs> yeah. Not to be a warrior, but he might not be as dead as we hope. I'm worried enough for both of us. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually... <clears throat> actually... I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. I, my, uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. Jesse's left me in charge before. This is a whole new level, though. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clockmaster. Thank you, Jesse. I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. What? Yeah, good. That's good. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. It got pretty trashed. Oh man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. I appreciate that. Feels... Pretty bad. We're gonna put the pieces back together though. You'll see. And, um... When I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. Cause I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but... It just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. I don't care if that life keeps trying to drag me back. I like Beacon Town. I like helping people. <sighs> That's great, then. I mean, the people clearly love you. I, uh... I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. Okay, we've had a ton of adventures, and... I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. 
Okay. Let's see what we can do for you, buddy. Monument fit for Reuben. I know I never met Robin. Reuben. Oh, right. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. Ah, oh, come on. You remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Uh, they all just start to blur together after a while. Hey guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah, I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was... artful. Aw, uh, I can't take all the credit. You guys totally helped, too. Spare me the pity props, Jesse. Don't need them. Hey, it wasn't pity... I'm, I'm just saying I know I'm still getting used to fighting with only one eye. It's cool. I'm just glad my shop's all right. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some uh, tour guide. Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be <coughs> sure. What you should continue to keep uh, just uh, talking about uh, for someday uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Love theoretical conversations. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, quite. You guys can talk about having some new adventure planned. What do I care? Huh. I guess that's true. Yeah, we've just got a new expedition on the horizon. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh... Yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, that's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, bus possible stuff. That's cool, I guess. Is this really that important to you? I, yes, kind of. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Whoa, wait, what? This isn't a snow biome. The admin. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait. You're the admin? 
Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. Well, it's kind of cuddly, right? Hold up. That was your idea of fun? Uh, yeah. I mean, with the smashing and the punching and the crazy do-or-die plans to protect the little people. Oh, unbelievable. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect. Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. You hear that? That's a diamond-class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane! Hmm. You'll never get away with this. I know you have your plans or whatever, but leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> innocent? Or incentive? I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. Ahem. Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. I mean, I don't want to brag, but it is, like, <laughs> really hard. You'll see. Are you insane? Are you just an actual crazy person? Is it because I look like this? Yeah, I can see why you'd think that. But no, 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 I'm just fine. I promise you. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? <laughs> why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is going to be epic. What? Oh, come on! Time to show this goon what the Skitaro crack jumpers do to town destroyers. You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, strays. Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town. Bye-bye now. Ugh. We need to protect the people. Run! Hide, everyone! I've got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard, watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. And now the situation is just going to get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? Oh, man. Proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course. Well, I... I won't let you down. All right, everyone. We've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise. I will come back. Hmm. Mm hmm.
You stay safe, Nurm, okay? Huh. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. Block this up after we leave, would ya? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nurm. Hmm. We're all counting on you! I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. Stay close. I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. If he knows what's good for him, he'd better keep his deal. We get the clock, the town's freed from eternal darkness. And hey, if he doesn't stick to the deal, we'll just need to find another, punchier way to convince him. Jesse, uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, uh, <laughs> me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To... I don't know. Find myself? You're gonna come back, right? Sure. Uh, of course. I... I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real, hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you... that you didn't need me anymore. Petra, of course I need you. That's ridiculous. Ugh. See, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? I mean, if I'm honest, it does seem like adventure is your calling. The open road, right? That's kind of what I thought too. Luna? Uh, is that a scarf on that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? This is Luna. She's kind of cute, right? We returned her to her owner, Stella. She is cute, isn't she? Everyone, get away from my llama! No! Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. Uh. Hush, I'm talking. Uh. Yeah, I'm... I'm still really not your rival. Really. So you say. And yet here we still meet. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas. This is Stella, the leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Boss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow, that's what. 
I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. You are just... wow. Just absolutely delusional. Am I, or is that just what you want me to think? For the love of... We're chasing the bad guy that did it. You really think Jesse has the power to do something like this? All right, let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa, the moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I totally agree that adventure is probably the closest I've got to a thing. But did this adventure really have to include Stella? <laughs> You okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man, and it's all ice? <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> I know. I'm right there with you, Jack. That is incredible. It's like I was telling you, Radar. Never a dull moment. Hey, found the clock. Oh, perfect. But how are we gonna get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's gonna be like obstacles or something when we get there. <sighs> Wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. Stella, I know you haven't met him yet, but I promise you, the admin is nuts. <sighs> yeah, you really don't want any part of that. Trust me. Huh, lesser minds often do mistake true genius for madness. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I can't wait for you to meet him. Stella, you'll never change. Oh, I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait. Do you two know each other? Uh, yeah. I, uh... I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. No, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh, uh, how do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. Hey, Radar is really brave, all right? Oh, yeah, really super brave, I'm sure. Who even invited you anyway? I'm just telling you, Jesse, I'd be careful about counting on him for anything. Come along, Luna. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. If that's what the situation requires, I'll do it. Yeah, you've definitely changed, Radar. It's always important to try and grow. Yeah. And I promise, I'll make you proud. Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite! Mystery levers! Please, 
Please gather round. Yeah, yeah, don't be shy. Here we go again. Oh, look how many of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not, uh, how do I say this, losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir, I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So, we'll see how your little companions do, hey? You watch it, Admin. And who exactly made you the judge? Um, my near infinite power? I thought that was obvious. Like I said, Radar, power runs the world. Oh, come now, don't be that way. This? This is all for you! New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue, at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you! Put this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Well, I was going to say pretty cool, but... With a whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway, spectacular, though, isn't it? I'm here to save my town. Well, of course you are, because you're a hero! <laughs> it's awesome! Oh, 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 I am just ecstatic that you see things my way. Thrilled! <laughs> so, how about we get this show on the road? Thank you. 